Here, nestled in the southern end of the Redwood Range, lay a group of parks that are nothing short of wonderlands. They are filled with a magnificent diversity of life, including one particularly secretive creature whose fate may depend on you and your ability to leave no crumb behind. Meet the marbled murrelet, a marvelous bird that does something no other seabird does. Seabirds typically nest close to the ocean, but at some point, marbled murrelets made this evolutionary leap and they began nesting high in the canopies of trees where their eggs would conceivably be safer from predators. These small robin-sized birds also adapted to hide themselves during breeding season by changing colors from black and white to a marbled brown that provides camouflage when they're nesting in the forest. Using the mossy crooks of large branches as cradles, nesting pairs take turns incubating their egg. And once it hatches, flying to the ocean to feed themselves and their chick. About 30 days after hatching, the chick is ready to fledge. Now imagine you're 300 feet up in a tree and you're on this limb and you've never flown before and you're supposed to jump and fly all the way to the ocean nonstop. But these first flights are not the only perils they face. While old growth trees have helped guard murrelet nests for thousands of years, they are not the safe havens they used to be. Since the 1850s, 95% of old growth forests have been cut down, leaving murrelets with few places to nest, and that has essentially caused their numbers to plummet. While many of the remaining forests are protected, murrelet numbers are still dwindling here, partly because of a growing number of predators that are being inadvertently led to the nests by people. Food scraps left by park visitors attract large predatory birds, like jays and ravens. And it's when they're here, eating the remains of our picnics, that these hungry birds notice the murrelet nests and may try to snatch the chick and the egg. These larger birds will push the parent off the nest so that they can eat the egg. Since murrelets only lay one egg per year, it's a major loss for the population. And some years are tougher than others. In 2020, this whole region was devastated by wildfires. Tens of thousands of acres burned. Coming here was heartbreaking. And I, I really feel the loss of so much of this forest. We're not sure how the murrelets will fare. The heart of their nesting habitat was burned over it's more important than ever that we do everything that we can to help these birds. I'm hopeful that they will recover. Hope also springs as scientists explore new ways to support the murrelet's survival. But it turns out that one of the best hopes for their future like actually lies with you. All you have to do is follow one simple rule. Leave no trace of food behind. 
even crumbs. That way, predators of the merlet aren't lured into the park in even greater numbers. Pick up and throw away everything. Clean every surface. Never leave any food or trash unattended. And store it all in your car or animal-proof lockers. Just by taking a few moments to do this, we can all help protect marbled murrelets and other wildlife in these parks and wherever they may roam.